This is the antenna I'm testing the uh, patch leads on. It's just a simple 5 dB magnetic mount, just temporarily plonked outside, going down through a window into the basement. And as you can see, there's tree obstructions, and the transmitter is probably about eight kilometres away, next town, a couple of hills in the way, and a building. The other end of the cable is attached to this uh, Velcro patch lead which slides over the modem, USB modem, um, but I've been using it on an iPhone, so I'll give you a demonstration of the increase in signal. I'll just show you that the, currently the phone is an iPhone 4 and he has one bar. Actually they're, they're dots now on iPhones and I've just slid it on and it's straight up to three dots and I've placed it lower down on the iPhone which is where the internal antenna is as you can see it's just sitting on the back there you can move it around a little bit, centralise it or move it up and down depending on your phone's model you have to do a Google or a bit of experimenting to find where your internal antenna is and um, I'll take it off now and show you it going back to one bar and now it back to one dot. If you don't see a signal improvement most of the time it's because you have the wrong antenna, you have a wrong frequency antenna in fact I've lost total signal now um, so you need to make sure you have the right frequency antenna to your network as in next G you have to have a 850 megahertz antenna 3G is 2100 megahertz and there's details, details on our website I'll show you that link actually. Okay, here's our um, homepage, Antenna DB Explain, load of questions. If you go to the right hand side of the homepage, down in the bottom column where it says Antenna Information, click on that and it'll bring up this page here with all you should need to know. Any questions, just drop us an email, there's a load of contact information on the page. Thanks for watching, bye.